Hey, hey, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion, and today we're going to take a look at productive and allocative efficiency in the long run for the market of perfect competition. It's a very short video because in the long run with perfect competition, it's all good. Everything comes together. It is the maximum um, allocation of resources, both productively and allocatively, for firms and society. So let's take a look. All right, check it. Here is the long run productive and allocative efficiency for firms making normal profits. But the thing is, in the long run, in perfect competition, the end of the story is always that people make perfectly normal profits. Okay, so how do we derive this curve? It's pretty simple. Here is the industry curve, right? Demand, supply, price. And of course, firms in market equal in perfect competition are price takers, so the price is perfectly elastic. And also, demand equals average revenue equals marginal revenue, right? And we also know that firms are productively efficient where MC equals AC. MC equals AC is at the bottom where they've merged right there. And we also know that firms are allocatively efficient where MC equals AR. MC equals AR. MC equals AR. Wow, but guess what? Check it, check it. There's another thing on this graph. We know that where MC equals MR, that firms are operating at their profit maximizing level of output. Holy McGillicuddy, dude. They just all piled up in one place because the perfect competition market structure is perfect in all ways, both for firms and producing exactly what they want to produce at the most efficient point, meaning that they produce it at the bottom of their average cost curve, their lowest average cost, and also firms are producing the exactly perfect allocative amount of a good that society wants or that consumers want, which is where MC equals AR. And also, check it, check it, check it, one, two, they're going to be profit maximizing because this is where MC equals MR. Good night, my friends. That's like the most beautiful confluence of all sorts of information you could ever imagine. And it happens here in the long run of perfect competition. So if you have that clear in your mind, you will understand these concepts come together. And there's something about the word perfect. Perfect competition means a lot of perfect things, both for society and for firms in the long run. All right, my friend. Listen, there you have it. That is the entire unit of the market structure of perfect competition. And it is exceptionally useful as a model for us in understanding how it is that firms behave when there is perfect information, when there are no entries to, no barriers to entry in the marketplace, no barriers to exit in the marketplace, that there is a large number of firms operating with the homogenous. A large amount of small firms operating and selling a homogenous product, and therefore they are all price takers. Remember the price taker thing. It's really important. They don't get to choose their price. They got to take what the market gives them. All right, my friends, be kind to one another out there. Be good to yourself. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and we'll talk to you in a bit.